do another build a fly. Like I said, we'll give people a few minutes to show up. Uh, today, I'm thinking we're going to do just a single battle fly. Last time we kind of did two and really walked through sort of the whole process, kind of like a beginner's look. But today we're going to go through and we're shooting to just build one. I'm thinking a different build than we did last time, John, something different to give people a new perspective. Cool. Yep. <clears throat> so last time we did... Um... Uh, we did a shield regen build with electric damage, and we also did a fusion uh, build to totally ignore shields and just inflict damage to directly to the hit points of opponent with uh, the sharp, the sharp uh, shells that damage every time you get attacked. You know, I actually saw today on the leaderboard for Apex Two somebody running two of the black hole turbines in combination with a legendary. Of that shield, literally, basically what we built, uh, you know. So nice, uh, good. Yeah. I'm I'm glad to see people are inspired to uh, build, uh, to get some good build ID. Very they nice. did, and I think they earned forty something magic, like forty one, forty two magic. So, you know, if you were tuned into the last one and just built exactly what we built, I think they had a little bit better of a shield, but otherwise exactly the same as us. Uh, that's a leaderboard build right there. So, you know, we're we're hopefully giving out some some profitable ideas here and we're looking to give out another profitable <laughs> one today uh, while we're waiting for people to yes. filter in for everybody that's here early uh as usual i have a loot crate for today so uh i'm going to open that and i'm going to apologize to everyone for the fact that these are loud as this opens up so uh, you will hear just a moment of loud noise <laughs> and we get 50 nectar credit if he's not bad, it's always a little stab when you see 20. Um, I will say that we are uh, looking to, as we shape up the loot crates, they are going to be losing their 20 nectar and gaining something else that's a little more valuable for the upcoming season. So looking forward to that change. Um, and also while everybody is filtering in, I, speaking of things that earn you those loot crates, I want to go through and talk a little bit, John, about our missions and achievements, because I think that's a new part of our system that some people might not be totally familiar with yet. So sure. on our game now, we've recently added missions and achievements. Missions, you can think of as sort of like daily and weekly quests. You get a new daily mission every single day. As you can see here, I have some daily missions and there are new weekly missions and you get a new weekly mission every single week. Pretty straightforward. The daily missions are going to be easier to complete, right? My daily mission for today is just to fight 200 battles. So I should be able to do that no problem because I have this account. I have a few battle flies running and you can complete these both in the Hyperdome and the Proving Ground. So good reason to get those extra flies into the Proving Ground. Every time that I complete one of these, I'm actually going to earn a loot cache, just like the one we just opened. So the loot caches can have everything from Nectar all the way up to mod packs. So this is a way from just playing the Proving Grounds that you can earn mod packs and Nectar, which is how you build up a good fly. The weekly missions, these actually give you three when you complete them. They're going to be three loot caches, so that is three chances to get. You'll also notice that there's this little recycle thing here. If I hover over it, you can see one mission per week can be rolled and one mission per day can be rolled. So let's say that I'm like, oh, fight battles in Pupa. I don't have anybody in Pupa. I can go ahead and click to reroll that, and now I have reroll mods with Nectar. And uh, I suspect we're going to be rerolling mods of Nectar today during this session. So that's a good one to get. And then when we look over here on achievements, uh, Jean, I know you were responsible for a lot of these graphics and some of these art. So um, I'll be curious about mm -hmm. your favorite here. But basically, these are sort of long-term goals, right? These aren't just things you're going to do in one day or one week. These are things like, you know, dealing a thousand damage to armor or or getting, you know, uh, placing all four daily league leaderboards at one time. So these are longer term goals, right, John? Yes, exactly. Some some are very thought, tough. I mean, for all the gamers here, you're familiar with that. Some achievements would be will be easy to achieve, and some are really tough. And uh, some some even might push you in a certain type of build if you want to achieve it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, some of these just like deal damage with electric weapons, right? That's gonna that you got to do electric weapons. So if you're not running any electric, you'll eventually need to do it if you want to complete this. So, um, and these also award uh, a loot cache, right? For when you complete these. 
So. Exactly. Yes, you get a reward, and we we we'll keep adding uh, more. I'm 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 actually working on new achievements for the for the season two upcoming. So we'll be adding more. Cool. So yeah, that is sort of our missions and achievements. If you're not doing your daily missions, make sure you check in on these every day. See what you got going on. You're going to be earning loot caches, which can get you mod packs, which are how you're going to play in the Hyperdome, build up those battle flies, and get those big rewards. So check your missions, check your achievements, poke in once a day if you can. All right. Uh, so this might be everybody we're getting for, for now. So let's go ahead and dig into it. I have a brand new fresh battle fly, Jean. Uh, this one's got mm. a great name as always. We have good old... <laughs> Koe Lana EA, uh, sponsored by oh. EA. Uh, <laughs> sponsorship, uh, paid promotion. Um, so good old Koe Lana here uh, is a brand new Battlefly. Nothing nothing on it. No wins, no losses with only core mods. So, John, uh, as always, no traits. Gonna start no traits, no nothing. This is, this is a, a fresh, empty. Pretty naked. But he has a, a collaboration wings. Yeah, that, is cool wings. that is true. I don't know who this partner project is, but it is a good looking one. All right. So, John, as usual, we're going to start off with our scavengers marks and hunters marks. If you don't know about these, you can watch our first build of fly, but these are going to include our odds. So, I believe we're going for the gold, as always, John. Yes. Uh, if you are flush with Nick Targon. All right. So, getting that gold. And now, John, since we're looking to do something different than last time, and according to your advice last time, which seemed to work out great for us, it was to start out with the utility. So what kind of utility do you want to look for to maybe build around this time? I think last time we did a black project and an ammunition. Is that right? Yeah, it's correct. Uh, exactly. There is three types of utility mod. Uh, so black projects are changing the rules uh, in a way. They're like the secret uh, mods. Uh, and ammunition, they are they will boost a certain type of weapon. Both of them will give a very strong direction to the to the to the build. While uh, cybernetics is actually more general, so it's 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 good if you you're not really sure you want just to buff your 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 butterfly overall cyber. But I think for what we are going to do, I, I think starting with that little black project or or ammo is is the best because we. We want to show, okay, when you get a certain utility, what kind of stuff you will fish for. All right, which one do you want to start with, John? I'll leave that up to you. Allez, let's go. The last time we did, uh, we wanted ammo. We didn't get ammo, so let's get ammo. Ammunition does, we, right. we got actually, uh, you got a legendary uh, mod recharger. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to be looking for some ammunition. That's going to modify the types of damage we do. And that's going to go into this utility slot here. So we're going to go right into scavenging mods. A reminder that mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you are scavenging in the corresponding wasteland. So we're going to be looking for the one here. This is ammunition, and it is the freight graveyard here. And you'll see that we are boosting our marks here. So I have some credits. I'm going to be going for these. Uh, let's get one. Okay. Um, so obviously on our first pack here, Jean, I think we're going to be re-rolling just commons and uncommons. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Explosive ammo is, is a good mod in general. I'm I'm running a explosive on my personal account right now. That's doing pretty good. Um, but this is a re-roll for sure. Okay. I right, got a couple of it's crazy good stuff. Like. Yeah. Mm hmm. So we so, have an ammunition here, link combat system, uh, which is, yeah, again, it's a good example of how much your utility will set your build. For example, this one, every time weapon one attacks, the weapon two has a chance to also shoot. So this is currently the only mod where the order of your weapon is important because you have two weapons in two slots. And, and actually, you can play them as you want. Weapon 1, Weapon 2 does not matter. They will shoot at their reload speed. So if reload speed 4, they shoot at the 4th second of combat. But actually, with this mod, you really want to play them well. You want Weapon 1 to attack very fast, very often, because every time he has a chance to trigger Weapon 2. And of course, you might want Weapon 2 to be slower and heavy-hitting gun because you get fresh shots out of it. 
So mm-hmm. this is a good example of, of, I mean, this is the exception that confirms the rule regarding weapon position. But that will change in Lost CEO. We have new, new, new mods that take the, the position into account. Yeah, uh, definitely good to, you know, keep in mind that sometimes placement matters, even if normally it doesn't. Um, this to me still looks like a re-roll, Jean, given that we have four left. What do you think? Yeah, we have four left. Let's 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 go for we're, we're four, greedier like, oh. <laughs> than that. Greedy, yeah. Yeah. let's be greedy. We can, we can be greedy. You are very lucky last time for the for the roll. So let's. Yep. All right. Well, this again, you know, when you when you are this early on, you're looking for direction. You're just going to re-roll commons and uncommons, and that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and re-roll this. Especially, especially on the first mod pack. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so link combat system shown in space again. Um, I don't think we're deep enough in to take it quite now. I think we're still rerolling. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. I, w- I will try. I mean, we're being fun. We have five five packs, right? Like last time. Yeah, let's give ourselves five packs. Ah, so, we have five packs, so yeah. we have we have a budget. Okay. All right. Ah, bah voilà. That's what we are looking for. We're looking for an answer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, that, I mean, this, and this one is, like I've mentioned, I like explosive ammo. It is nice and straightforward. It says, pair me with kinetic weapons. Let's just, just do it, you know? So, uh, yeah. we know what we're looking for. Mm-hmm. But um, exactly. And we have only one reroll left. So, yeah, definitely here we not tempt to deville. And no. we are looking for a good direction in utility slots. That's exactly what we have here. Absolutely. So, as always, we're going to try for an upgrade here. And we do actually hit the upgrade. Very so good. That's a good one. A uh, reminder, that's a 1 in 8 to hit an upgrade and a 2.5% chance to get two levels if possible. So we hit the 1 in 8. We're feeling lucky today. We start out with a first pack, legendary, explosive ammo. I mean, what more could you want? It's perfect. Right? It's perfect, yes. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so we're going to go back to mission control now because we actually want... We're going to go ahead and equip that just so we remember that we have it when we're taking a look at our equipment down at the bottom. Mm-hmm. But I think now we probably want to change that hunter's mark up, right, John? Sure, exactly. And also just a point, like last week, we, we built flies a little bit more complex. It, it's There is a lot of um, difficulty level uh, by the mods. Like this is super straightforward. Yeah. Get kinetic guns, big boom, big damage, bada boom. Done. That's it. Get a good so, shield or armor with it and go fight. That's all. Yep. <laughs> exactly. So it's good to have something simple sometimes, like Absolutely. a good orc with a double double edge axe. Sometimes you just gotta go punch him in the face. You know, that's that's what this weapon yeah. says. This utility says. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm assuming, given that we're looking for kinetic, we're gonna go ahead and move to a kinetic mark here. So we're gonna do that. And a reminder, you can see which, yeah, what? sorry, go on. Go ahead, John. No, no, go on. Reminder that replace. you replace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Saying the same thing. All right. So that new mark is applied. You can see that mm-hmm. we got these bullets down here. And I think we're ready to go scavenge some more. Clearly. All right. Also, reminder, something I want to say mm-hmm. uh, in crypto, you really want to keep Chrome updated, especially if you are on PC. <laughs> There you go. Not now, but I, I, I just saw the button. <laughs> are you are you calling me out for having this updated? Well, yeah. in in the recording I'm making, Jean, you can't even see the top bar this time, so no one else would have known my Chrome shape. Um, when you have two thousand tabs open, it's a bit stressful to do it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and scavenge <laughs> our kinetic mods here. Cool. And a reminder, we're just scavenging the right place. Okay, so again. This is why we have oh, rerolls, so... right? <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah, so, that's that's bad. <laughs> nothing exciting here. Nothing to see. Okay. We're, we're looking for stuff like this. Obviously, again, we're still at commons <laughs> and uncommons with rerolls left. If this was our last roll, we'd take this one, but we have a little bit more to go. Um, yeah, because uh, having having a plus twenty five percent damage on kinetic will also will make the, the, the your your mod damage as if almost two level higher or one point five level higher. So that means this this uncommon mod will hit like a rare plus. But yep. of course we have four rerolls, so no point settling on this now when we can get better. Absolutely. 
Okay. Ooh, so this would have been another potential direction to take uh, stealth. I know that's very popular right now on the leaderboards. Um, but yeah, nothing for us here. I mean, these aren't bad mods. Actually, these, you know, rocket pods and stealth yep. type are good, just not kinetic. So exactly. Uh, again. We want two kinetic guns, and we, of course, we're open for the armor slot because we don't mm -hmm. have armor. So. Still, no, the, the still flank nothing. gun is going back to tease us. It is. That's okay. See, Jean, I was just holding out. We're gonna see a nice epic kinetic weapon in this next roll. You know. <laughs> so I was I was just saving up for this one. Anyway, just a quick <laughs> reminder of the of the percentage here is that basically you have when you are on, on uncommon, you, you have quite a good chance to get more. So it's it might well be worth it. But no, we have a last three roll. Aye, aye, yeah. aye. Instead of an uh, <laughs> epic, I gave us three comments. But let's see if we can get it here. <laughs> well, well, boop, boop, well, boop, boop, boop. well. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this says kinetic. Yep. And it says legendary. So... <laughs> Yeah, I'm taking this one. I mean, I don't, I don't. We can, we can look at it for just a second here to see what it does. Yeah. It's, it, it shoots for two hundred twenty damage, and it does mm -hmm. extra damage to shields. So, uh, yeah, yep. So all of the kinetic guns are are, are specialized in shield piercing. Right. Oh, not all, actually, most of them. Yep. And this would have been another example of a direction we could have took, like if we didn't already have that mod, this would be good in that it's a critical build. And so we'd want to pair around things that have high damage. So we'd be looking to pair with other missiles or other things that improve your crit. Um, but, you know, we already have, we have our plan. Yep. So I'm just going to go right into scavenge another here, John, because we're still looking for a second kinetic weapon and we have the right mark equipped. Sure. All right, so hidden base. Again, make sure it says kinetic mod when you're scavenging for kinetic mods. And we're going to go for it. Okay. Oh. Well, uh. these, are, these are good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> these are good. And, and, you know, it's interesting, John, this is a good example. And, and I, if you want to just talk about it for a second, how the last one that we got, if we look down here at our inventory, you can see that it actually says plus damage to shields. But this one actually mm -hmm. says minus damage to shield. So is that just because it's an electric weapon? Yeah, not all electric. Uh, not all electric guns are, are bad against shield, but this one is particularly bad against shield. With with very good trade off, is that it has a higher damage than all the other weapons in the game. Mm -hmm. So it will struggle against heavily shield shielded opponents but then after it will it will pierce it will destroy her it will it will grill them like the emperor right so this is good it may be an armor dominated metagame or i mean we're we're looking for a second uh kinetic mod here but it would actually be good with a kinetic mod because you can shred their shields and then deal extra damage just to their their base health so sure. worth worth thinking sure. about um it is sad to yeah. roll away two epics but i think that it's important when you're building these to not get like you want to be greedy for specific things you don't necessarily just want to hoard good stuff right like once we have a good build mm -hmm. maybe it's good to build a second sort of set we buy some extra mod slots and so on uh inventory slots but as much as, as nice as these are i just think we keep going i think we reroll. yep totally yep so that's i think that's the big takeaway from this particular pack is this is good this is good but we're gonna hit reroll. Okay. Um, we keep seeing this flat gun. This flat gun really wants to hang out. <laughs> yes. Super popular. <laughs> yep. Really wants to be our friend. We're still not going to take it as much as it wants to hang out. It is, you know, it's that person at the party where you're trying to exit the conversation. You're like, oh, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. I'll, I got, I'm going to go get a drink. Right. That's, that's the flat gun. So. <laughs> All right. Let's reroll again here. Oh, I got to look, look at this. I just completed, I believe, a, uh, a daily mission while we were doing this. So I'll have that waiting for me later, which is nice. All right. Um, we see another example of how kinetic mods are good against shields here, this auto cannon. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, not, I mean, same thing here. The, we're just re-rolling, right, John? Yes, correct. I will, I will uh, by the way, take the attendance uh, here. So I'm just... Uh... 
Perfect. Thanks. Uh, yep. So we will receive all the people uh, in the coming here. You will get your mod back. Yep, yep, yep. And of course, we will be recording this as always. So those that cannot make, I know this is a weird time for kind of everybody. We're just trying out different times, see how attendance is. So thank you. Thank you to those of you that are willing to uh, come at these odd times and let us know uh, how it's going and if this time works for you. So, all right, we're going to re-roll this. It's our dear friend, the Flat Gun 2. <laughs> Once again, this is, I think, the fourth <laughs> time we've seen Flat Gun 2. It's just... Yeah, it lives here. It's crazy. It lives it's, here. Uh... <laughs> right. There is more kinetics mods, huh, by the way. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, but... there's 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 two or three more that we haven't seen yet. But flat gun, it's here. Exactly this one. No commons. Just just the rare, the uncommon rather. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Well, this is bad. This is bad. So I don't need to tell you we reroll this one. Yes. And... Uh, I'm always there for take the, the screenshot. Uh, all but okay. And now taking attendance. Thank you, everybody who attend. All right. Okay, so I'm back. We do in fact get on our last roll. Something useful here. Yeah, exactly. Okay, not what we wanted, but uh, <laughs> yeah, well. We it's we did not have an armor, no, nope. so it's good. Yep, I mean, I would be open to replacing this as always. You know, the armor is kind of that. The the armor is a little more interchangeable. Like there are some armors that work with certain strategies, um, but this is good. Uh, and we're gonna always, of course, try yep. to upgrade the rarity. Let's see if we hit that one and eight back to back. We do not. That's fair. That's fair. So we're gonna keep this. Put it in one of our empty slots. And yeah, uh, I mean, I think all in all that worked out okay, given that we went all the way down to our last roll. It was it was good fortune to hit something usable. So yeah, clearly. Take a peek at how we're looking here, and equip our legendary. <laughs> so we have three. We open three three packs. We have uh, two guns. Oh, no, we have one gun only, one armor, and we have our, our utility. So this BF start to look not bad at all. Pretty good. Yeah, I think this is also, I mean, I'm hoping that's something that people take away from this, these things that like we're just playing on a regular account here. Like this is just a account with with scavenger mark and a hunter's mark. And this is now the third battle fly in a row where we've gotten legendaries and epics like put on for these build the flies. So um, it is it is very if you plan wisely, if you use your rerolls smartly, if you don't get, you know, if you know when to be greedy and when to <laughs> when to take something. Um, you can very easily build a battle fly with just one pack per slot. And maybe, you know, we're giving ourselves one extra just in case. But, you know, uh, last time we didn't even need it. I think we only did four packs on one of the flies. So this time we're looking good as well. Um, so I think we're good here, right? We're still looking for uh, kinetic and so yeah, we can just we, go scavenge again. Or I'm missing the last piece of the puzzle now. Absolutely. So something to, to note about just the strategy here is that we have our first gun is very slow because it's shooting every eight seconds. So um, we really would like to have another gun, which is a bit faster if possible, and we need to survive, actually. So with this build, I would have loved to have a legendary uh, armor or shield to, to give more chance to have to change these shots of rapid fire. But with the armor we have, with the Seramo armor, it's value 12 in armor, which is very high. So that means it will shrug off uh, a lot of fast weapons. Yeah, this is going to be because really good against like machine guns, like the Grease Gatling Gator and stuff like that. It's basically going to reduce their damage down to nothing. It won't be quite as good against, actually, it'd be bad against our own weapon, for example. This is a place oh, where it'd be bad. Exactly. It's just terrible. You, you take 220 damage and you remove 12 out of this, which is almost nothing. Right. All right, so let's go ahead and find it. And I think that also comes back to knowing what's going on in the metagame right now. Um, if there's a lot of yep. big weapons, if there's nukes everywhere, armor becomes worse. But if everyone's running cryo and link combat systems, then armor's great. So Exactly, yeah. Look at the leaderboard uh, every day. In the Absolutely. leaderboard, you're, you're in. In the league, you're in. Let's see what other people are doing. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, we do see this auto cannon. This isn't bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Now, here's the question for you, John. 
how greedy are we on our rerolls? Are we looking for something stronger? Or are we happy with oh, for five rewards, I'm always greedy, but it's really like all about your, your attitude towards risk. But I think with five rewards so, and with a gold mark, the stats are with you. Yeah. Yeah. I think, again, when you're doing rerolls, when you see something good this early on, you're saying, I'm okay with missing this. I'm okay with using that like fifth pack to, you know, to maybe pass. If you're like, I definitely don't want to, you know, spend any more magic or any more credits. I really want to just be safe. Then taking this would be fine. We're a little greedier than that, though, so we're mm -hmm. going to re-roll. We are instantly oh. punished. <laughs> <laughs> By karma. Instant karma. The risk you take. <laughs> uh, obviously a re-roll, so we're going to go ahead and just click that and not look too long at these commons. See, now, this is truly punishment. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're we just gathering more luck for the next roll. <laughs> I see, I see. We're, we're, <laughs> we're saving up all those good uh, good mods. Mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> wow, okay. 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 Yeah. Wow. So, uh, so sh shit happens. <laughs> yeah, this is immediately <laughs> like, don't worry. Like, we're just going to be a little greedy and find something better. And we get nine comments that, that do be how it be sometimes so uh you know cool um we're right. not keeping any of this uh, by the way we we, we here there is absolutely a no it's a no-brainer to reroll because you know it cannot be worse right yeah this is a free reroll for sure i uh, have a question in the chat john is armor better uh or shield better for the current meta right now um my Response is basically it depends what league you're in. So check your leaderboards. But do you have an insight into where somebody should maybe start if they're not sure? Um, uh, always a priority is synergy. So do you have a tray? Or is your battle fly in common or plus? So you have a tray. If you have a tray that give armors and try to boost armor and shield, boost the shield. That will be the first thing. Play with your trait. And then synergies inside, like some utility give armor or give shields, give or some weapons give actually armor bonus. So it's always better to have a synergy than no synergy. So with these two guidelines, uh, and on top of that, the leaderboard. I mean, we can check now in Apex, for example. We can we can we can check quickly what is uh, once we're done. We can check the top two of Apex and what they play. Yep, so check the leaderboards and uh, look for synergies with them. I've seen both at I'm, the leaderboard right now. So I'm checking here now. The number two today was uh, is running a false false shield, so armor and super fast guns with Creo. So armor will be very good against him. And the second one here is running uh, one also very fast gun and some barrage. So armor will be also very good. They're running shields. So. so all right, I'm gonna. So good arm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep re-rolling here uh, while you're going, John. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, ah, ah. They're, oh, no. they're better. Wow. Okay. They're not. They're not commons, but they're. They're still what we're looking this, for. It's utility, triple utility. Mm -hmm. Triple and common utility. All right, last re-roll, John. We got rewarded for our greed on the last weapon. Yeah. So let's see if we can get rewarded for our greed again. C'est la vie. Let's go. Uh, ben voilà. I mean, okay. I, I mean, yeah, this isn't quite what we're looking for, but this is not a bad weapon. Far from it. Uh, it's an event again from the Star Wars uh, event. Never tell me the odds. So I think what we're going to do it, here, since we're, we, you know, this is our last pick here, we could take this uncommon kinetic mod. It technically fits better with our synergy, but I think right here, I'd rather run this over this, even with our boost, probably. But, but they're pretty. You close. know, it's very simple. You can calculate because the the explosive ammo give you plus twenty five percent damage. Yeah, plus, plus twenty eight. Plus twenty eight. Twenty eight percent damage. So if you look at eighteen damage on plus twenty eight, that will be a third. That will be six. It, it's about like an extra. It's about an extra six, uh, five six damage. Six points. Yeah. Six so, point, yeah. So that will bring you to twenty four DPS. So that means even with your buff, the 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 heavy blaster is still better. All right. So we're gonna try to upgrade. We don't get that. That's okay. So this is a good one. If we don't get something better, 
and we knew this. Like I said, on that very first pick, we said we're willing to roll down here and use our last pack. We could have kept that rare mm -hmm. kinetic. All right, so let's go ahead and go right into Scavenge Another because we know what we're looking for, Jean, and we're trying to keep this one a little the last more one. We have five mod packs. That's what, what we set. So. This is our last one. We're going to go this one a little, a little bit faster here. So let's refresh that. There we go. Okay. Well, uh, there, there, came... there we go. That's <laughs> simple enough. He, he came back. It came back and it was better. It's finally, the flat gun finally showed up in a better form. So, I mean, I don't think there's yeah, any point. It, it it's our last some... pack. We're taking this, right? Clearly, yeah. We try to upgrade it and we take it. All right. Let's go for that upgrade. Don't get it. That's okay. Yep. I, overall, we're going to go ahead and overwrite one of these core mods here cool all right when, I mean, when that... you override mm -hmm. when you override try to override or override for example what is you know will be like the least useful like for example i would have override plastil hull mm -hmm. because uh the armor we have is just better on every single point for yeah. example so when you do inventory management uh, you can of course purchase new slots, but when you don't, you 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 delete what what you're sure you will never use again. All right. So uh, that means keep in mind one one thing to keep in mind is that um, we have a new expansion, the first expansion pack coming soon, and it adds twenty three new mods. Uh, so we are very excited to start uh, uh, speaking about this uh, pack soon, about this uh, expansion pack soon. But so. Um, many mods will interact, will bring new combos. I mean, all mods will bring new combos. That means, like, you will probably want a few mods from the new expansion. So it's nice uh, to have a few things in the inventory because maybe down the line, Co uh, Coalena EA will want to run energy mods for whatever reasons or critical uh, build. And then it will be cool to have already the Star Wars gun in the, in the inventory because we might use it. So yeah, keep, keep in mind that you might have a use for this uh, mod in your inventory in the future when the expansion hits. There you go. So I think, John, that this is yet another five packs and we have two legendaries and two epics with a pretty strong theme around kinetic damage so again this goes to show you sure. that you can you can uh, and this is a common fly and i know for certain that this can make its way up to apex just as is like this is this is good enough definitely predator and i can see this going into apex 3 maybe picking up a yeah clearly and you know we just checked now like the top three winners in apex are run shields and this 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 butterfly is built to wreck shields absolutely yeah, so as you can see, both these, this does 10% extra damage to shield and ignores evasion. And this does an extra 20% damage to shield. So uh, you're going to be just shredding shields. This is 20% damage to shield, plus you get that bonus from the kinetic. So you're getting the 220 damage, plus 20% damage to shields, plus 28 damage base on top of that. This is basically going to take out most people's shields in a single hit, even if they have a shield equipped. So... Yeah, uh, realistically, I'm a little worried about the survivability. So I think this butterfly might struggle against certain alpha strike builds. Alpha strikes like ninja style, you know, like sniper style. It's a mm -hmm. stealth build or the barrage build. We, we shoot you with artillery because it's a little bit lacking in the defense. That's the thing. When you utility, um, some utility are extremely defensive. Some utility like explosive ammo are extremely offensive. Some are a mix. And when you go full glass cannon, like in this case, um, yeah, sometimes you might be a little bit fragile. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then we had a, a quick question here from the chat, which is just the, uh, are you purchasing your mod specifically based off your Hunter's Mark? Yes, we are. We are actually going the other direction. We are grabbing the right Hunter's Mark that we want for the builds that we want. So we started off looking for a Hunter's Mark that's going to give us ammunition because we wanted to start off with a utility mod. And then after we found our explosive ammo, which gives us bonus kinetic damage, we switched our Hunter's Mark over to the kinetic, which is what it is right now. So yeah, we're, we are changing our mark as we go to ensure that we have the, 
the correct thing that we're looking for. So, and uh, I see somebody mentioning in the chat as well there. So thanks for that help. Yeah, and there, there was two two times actually, uh, so there's been two times we received the armor or the shield without looking for it. It's kind of a side, a side bonus. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to uh, end the recording here, but I'll hang out for another minute and take, answer a few more questions. So uh, for this recording, thanks everyone for joining us for another Build the Fly. And hopefully you can use some of these strategies to get yourselves a competitive fly on a uh, pretty affordable, you know, pretty affordable budget here. Five packs and we're ready to go. So thanks everyone for joining us. Thanks, yes. Sean, for joining. Thank you, everybody.